Okay, so I'm back for another video, and yes, it is the same day, just a few minutes later than my Stitch Fix video, which I'll post here. I got Stitch Fix and Trunk Club all in one day. It's like Christmas in July. So this is my very first Trunk Club, and I'm so excited. Okay, it's such a different process than like Stitch Fix or Transcend. So um, I use a referral code from my sister-in-law and um, so basically with Trunk Club, there's a $25 styling fee unless you have a Nordstrom card, which I do not have a Nordstrom card. So I pay the $25 styling fee, but it's a very personalized experience with your stylist, even more so than Stitch Fix. So with Trunk Club, there's an app that you download and you actually communicate with your stylist like in real time, like a text message and tell them what you're looking for, if there's anything in your wardrobe that, you know, you need or want. And they put together 12 items and I don't know if it's always 12, but mine was 12. And then they send you a preview of your trunk and then you get to, from that preview, kind of look and say, yes, no, or can I change the color on this? Or, you know, I don't like that at all. And they'll replace it. So my first trunk, um, out of the 12 items, I kept eight and declined four. So then my stylist went back and she picked four replacement items. So the four replacement items, you don't get to accept or decline. It just is what it is, right? But she looks at the feedback from the previous four and kind of adjusts from that. So you know what's in here ahead of time. Unlike Stitch Fix or Transcend, which you can cheat and look, but I try not to do that. Um, you really don't know what you're getting. It's just whatever your stylist sends, you don't have an opportunity to decline those items. So this is my first experience with Truck Club. I'm really excited because I know some of the things that are in here and oh my word, like really awesome stuff. I will say though, like there is no way that I would be able to keep this entire trunk because it's very expensive. Like there's just a couple items in here that I'm, I know I may keep, I'm excited about, but to keep this entire trunk would be a lot of money. Um, but I am excited to try the things on and maybe keep one or two of the pieces. So let's just get into it, shall we? So the trunk is like literally a trunk like this. So I'm going to put this down here and oh my goodness. Okay. So I've got two pairs of shoes and this big old bundle of clothes. So let's just look at the shoes first because those are the things, two of the things I'm like really, really excited about that I, I kind of need in my wardrobe or I need in my closet right now. So the first, oh wait, hold on just a second. I'm getting all like, I'm all excited and I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, it says we can't wait for you to see what's inside. Okay, so hello Jennifer. And here is the price list, which is scary. They give you envelopes, or not envelopes, um, mailing labels, to send everything back, and there's a note from um, your stylist, which you've been communicating with your stylist anyway. Um, so we have five days to try this stuff on and send it back. Um, and one thing I will say with this trunk club, which I really liked, is so my stylist anyway, she took all the pieces that she was sending me and like made outfits out of them. So you could see how all the pieces like work together if you buy all the pieces. So one of the things that I did ask for was a pair of nude pumps, um, strappy pumps. I've got a couple of business trips coming up as you guys know already and um a couple of the dinner client dinners and vendor dinners are dressy like as in cocktail attire like pretty dressed up so i needed some new nude pumps so she sent me a pair of vince camuto and let's just look at these babies and they are gorgeous as i predicted beautiful very classic 
Mm, leather. Very classic, very um, multi-purpose. I mean, you could wear these with um, pants, skirts, dresses, whatever. Really, really like those. They are very promising. Okay, so my next pair of shoes is actually a pair of athletic shoes. So since I've been working out and stuff, I, I'm not a person that spends a lot of money on tennis shoes because I don't wear them that much. But since January, I started going to the gym and everything. Um, I have really wished that I had a better pair of athletic shoes. So athletic wear was one of the things that I requested from my stylist. So she did send me a pair of Nikes. And of course, they're friggin' fabulous. Just like I figured they would be for $120. Um, you guys tell me, do you guys spend a lot of money on tennis shoes? Seriously. I mean, I know if you wear tennis shoes all the time, I get it, but I don't wear tennis shoes that often unless I'm at the gym. But I wanted just a pair of like really cute, stylish tennis shoes, and these are so cute. Why did you have to be so cute? Okay, dude, my pocketbook, my bank account is like killing me right now. Okay, so let's just break into all this and see what we got. So again, I mean, it's not, it's a little bit different in that it, it's a surprise, but it's not a surprise as to what you're getting in your trunk. So let me... You know what? To keep the paper and stuff from rattling so much, I'm going to open this stuff and then I'll be right back. Okay, I have everything open and Darth decided to join us. Hello, he's getting huge. Okay, so in case you didn't watch my last Stitch Fix video, I just want to say the reason for all this is like major mom mode today. It's summertime. We've been out at the pool. I went to the gym this morning. My little guy is actually with our babysitter right now there at the lake. And I have just been like doing laundry and recovering from the fourth this weekend and all that. So no makeup. I'm not sweaty, but it's just been one of those days, right? Um, I'm getting ready to travel next week. So I'm trying to get like all my stuff done. Okay. So got everything open. I showed you guys the tennis shoes and the heels. Okay. So let's just start showing this stuff. Okay, so this is a halogen, and I actually have a halogen sweater that I really like that I got from Nordstrom. Oh, and that's another thing. Trunk Club is Nordstrom. So everything that's in your trunk is our brands that they sell at Nordstrom. I don't think I said that before, but so this is the halogen um, swing tee in pink. It's $39. Really cute. It's got like a kind of a flares out so I think it'll probably be really cute on it'll probably like kind of cinch your waist in a little bit really cute and I don't have a lot of pink I don't typically wear a lot of pink so that's really cute okay this is stinking gorgeous and she sent this to me because of my um, kind of formal dinner I asked for a couple really nice dresses this is the Adriana Papel um, Where's it at? Hold on. Hold on. There's no swing tee. Running shoe, A-line dress. Scallop crepe. Okay. Scallop crepe sheath dress. Black, $98. So, this is the dress. It's got like a scallop here, around here, and then it's also scalloped around the bottom. So, just a really beautiful black sheath dress that I could wear to a nice dinner. So, there is that. All right, um, these are linen trousers, not your daughter's jeans, white. And these are $119. Um, I'm not a huge fan of linen because you see the wrinkles. Yeah, not a huge fan. Um, I will try them on. I don't have any white linen um, trousers or white trousers for that matter. Um, they're not petite. I did ask my stylist about that, about them not being petite, and she said that um, with Trunk Club, any alterations that need to be made to any of the clothes are complimentary, 
which is pretty amazing. So like if I, those were just, they fit great, but they're just too long and I needed them hemmed, they'll do that free of charge. Okay, so here is the Curve Open Front Shawl Collar Blazer Black. So she sent me a black blazer, $74. And it's a three quarter sleeve. So really pretty. Um, and it's got the shawl collar and then it's also got kind of a, here's the like an angle cut on the front. So really, really cute, really pretty. And that is $74 and it's in a size small. Um, she sent me, and I love this top. It looks pink on the camera, but it's red. It's like red, like sexy red, really pretty. And the tie is black. So the tie on the back is black. Back is black, back is black. Okay, and that is, I think it's halogen as well. Yes, halogen red, $49. Very dressy, very pretty. And she actually um, said to pair that with the white linen trousers. Okay, and a pair of jeans, and these are not your daughter's jeans, and these are in a two petite, and they are $109, and they're straight leg. So I told her I didn't need any skinny jeans. If she was going to send me jeans, to send me um, straight leg. So these are really pretty, and they're really soft. They look, they look very, very comfortable too, so I'm excited to try those. All right, so then she did send me some athletic wear to go with my tennis shoes. So this is an Adidas, um, just an Adidas workout top in teal green. And it is $25. So, yeah, really cute, really soft. Um, I need some new workout clothes. The ones I have I've just kind of had for a long time. They're getting kind of worn out. And she sent me a pair of workout leggings, and these are aloe, A-L-O, high waist airbrush midi legging, leggings, $78. So 78 bucks is a lot for leggings, but I'm gonna try them on and see. They are really thick, like really thick. And I like the high waist. All right, I've got one more dress, and this is so pretty. So this is like a navy blue, and it's got beautiful like overlay. And it is A-line dress, Eliza J, navy, $128. And it's a four petite. So very pretty, very, very pretty. And then we have one more top. This is a Zella workout top, and I love Zella. I have their leggings, and I actually have um, a couple of their like pullovers. I wear them all the time. I've had them for like two years. They wash amazing. They never get misshapen. Really, really good quality stuff. And this one is, hold on. The Standout Seamless Training Tee by Zella Gray Wolf, $39. Which is about what I expected for a Zella top. I mean, they're not cheap, but they're really good quality. That is it, you guys. That's a lot of stuff to try on. I will try to make this as fast as I possibly can. I will be right back with the first outfit. Okay, guys. So, the first thing I decided to try on um, was the athletic clothes. And these pants are black. So, you can't. There you go. Now, you can kind of see, like, the leggings. Um, so, I've got on the Zella top, which is a little tight. I don't know if I want something this tight when I work out. But, it's a little snug. And here are, so these leggings are amazing, I have to say, like, they, like, suck you in and, oops, sorry, hit the button. They suck you in all the right places, really love them, and I've also got on the Nikes, so these are great. They're so different, like, just a really cool tennis shoe, like, they're kind of mesh, um, and they're really, really light, like, for running, which I love. So yeah, this is a this is a good one. Again, I think this shirt, and I don't have on a sports bra either. I've got on like a weird bra, but um, love the leggings, love the shoes, the top, meh, it's okay. All right, so I love this top. This is the Adidas top, same leggings. I still got the tennis shoes on. 
This is great. This tank top is amazing. It's so lightweight. It feels like I have nothing on, like nothing on at all. It's just so cool and um, comfortable. So yeah, I really love this outfit um, for working out at the gym or just running errands or whatever. I would totally wear it. And again, these leggings are like, they're tight enough to where they kind of suck you in, but they're not so tight that you're like uncomfortable. But yeah, ah. Uh, I'm totally digging this for the gym for working out. Sweet. Be right back. Okay, guys. I'm back with the pink swing tee. So, just like I thought, it kind of comes in a little bit in the middle and then kind of almost like a peplum. And then I have on the Not Your Daughter's jeans. Um, again, you can't really kind of a dark background, but I can stand up here. So, these are the Not Your Daughter's jeans. Uh, really, really cute. I like that they're mid rise. I told her I really liked mid rise. They're really comfortable. The length is perfect on these. So, yeah, I really like these a lot. Uh, the top is okay. Um, it's not something that I would typically would have picked out. And plus, my hair looks like crap. So, it would look better if I was like actually tried to make myself look a little better today. But it is what it is. So, I mean, I like the top. But I don't know that it's, I don't know. What do you guys think? It's kind of cute. It's something different. Um, I don't have anything this color. And then I don't have anything like with this shape. But I don't know if it does anything great for me or not. But the jeans I love. So, be right back with another top. Okay, sorry guys. I had a call come through. So, here's the red halter top with the black bow in the back. Really, really cute. And I just put it back on with those jeans. Um... So, I really like it. Let me put the black blazer on because this is one of the outfits that she suggested is the black blazer with this top and the jeans. So, here's the black blazer which, of course, fits like a dream and um, with, the, with the jeans. So, what do you guys think about this? This blazer is phenomenal. Seriously. Um, yeah, I really like that. Let me try on the white linen pants with this. Hold on just a sec. Okay. So I've got on the white linen pants. They're too big. They're a little too big. And they're definitely too long. I would have to get them hemmed. But I really like them. I'm just not a linen fan. Um, I mean, it's just not a very travel-friendly travel -friendly fabric. Um, but I love the blazer and top. Um, the pants just, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me see if I, so I've got the heels on. I've got the nude heels on with these. Let me stand, see if I can stand up here. Okay. So here are the pants with the nude heels with this. Okay. And then we can take the blazer off and you can kind of see what that looks like. What do you guys think? No, not bad. I just don't think, I just don't know about having to hem these. But you know with these heels on, they actually look kind of cute with the heels on because they're not, um, they're not dragging the ground. I wish I could show you. I don't know if I can tilt this down or not. I can't. I'm not going to do right. Shoot. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that, guys. My uh, had this propped up on something and it fell. But anyway, so here are the, the linen pants and with the red shirt. So let me know what you think and I'll be right back with the dresses. Okay, guys, so here is, I'm going to turn this off. It's hot. Here is the Eliza J um, navy dress. It fits perfectly and I have it on with the nude heels. Let me sit up here and show you. So, here are the nude heels with it. The heels are perfect. They're exactly what I was looking for. Um, yeah, I can totally see wearing these a lot. These are great heels. So, this is what the dress looks like. The length is perfect. Um, this is like my ideal length for, for a dress. Um, so, yeah, 
really, really like it. The only problem is it's $128, and I just don't know that I want to spend $128 for a dress, but it is beautiful. So, I've got one more thing to try on, and I'll be right back, and then we'll do a recap. Okay, so here is the last dress. This is the scallop detail black dress. I moved the camera back just a little bit so you can see. And again, I've got on a crossback bra, so you don't have on the right bra with it. But it's really, really pretty. It has really pretty detail around the sleeves. Um, the scallop is around the bottom, and I have it on with the nude heels, of course. Um, so yeah, really, really pretty. And I had asked for, you know, a pretty nice dress, um, kind of a cocktailish dress to wear. Um, to a couple of my dinners. I already have one that I got from Stitch Fix, but I actually have like two more dinners and I need a dress for and I don't want to wear the same dress. So, um, yeah, I think this might be a really good option. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you think it's, let's see. Oh, it's kind of tight at the bottom. Let's see if I can stand up on the chair. <laughs> Okay, so you can see like the bottom is really pretty and scalloped. Crap. I'm going to bump my mirror off. And then I've got the shoes, the nude heels along with it. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below um, what you love. Sorry, I had another call come in. Let me know what you loved and what you didn't, and I will be right back with the recap. Alright, guys, so... I'm back and let's just recap shall we it is sweaty I'm hot and yeah so the ankle strap sandal they're fabulous I have them on my feet right now $99.95 is the price so this is my only like drawback with these is I was in Target um, a couple days ago and literally saw a pair of shoes just like this almost. I mean, they were very similar for like 20 bucks. So, this is my thing. Are the, hold on, I'm going to try to angle you guys up a little bit better. Sorry. My tripod is not. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is my thing with these. Are they worth the $99? Or should I just go and try to get the Target knockoffs for 20 bucks? Thoughts? Let me know. They're really cool. I like them. They're really pretty and they are very nice. Like they're real leather. I mean, they're very nice. So I'm kind of torn. The Adidas tank, I love it. I will probably keep that. The blazer, I love. I have a black blazer, but I don't have one that's the three-quarter. Mine's long-sleeved, and it's like a knit fabric. I don't have one that's kind of like that rayon fabric, so I really like that. The, the Zella T was just a little too tight for me. I don't like to wear tight things to the gym um, other than my leggings, and that was a little tight, so probably won't keep that. The halter style top, the red one, what do you guys think? I've got several halter style tops the past little bit. Um, so I don't know that it's $49. It's pretty. It's red, but kind of on the fence. The halogen swing tee, I don't think I'm going to keep that. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. If you think it was really cute with those jeans, maybe. I'm going to watch this back and see what I think about it. Um, sometimes that changes my mind. The Nike running shoes, I absolutely love, and I actually need those. Um, and they're going to be $120 no matter where I get them. So, um, the A-line dress, which is the navy dress, very pretty, but not sure that I need that right now. Um, the leggings, I loved, but they're $78. And I'm like, $78 for a pair of athletic leggings? Are they worth it? I don't know. You guys tell me. The crepe sheath dress was very, very pretty. Um, it's $98, which is not bad for a more of like a cocktail dress. So that's a maybe. The straight leg jeans I liked. I don't have any. I take that back. I have a couple pairs of straight leg jeans, but they are worn out. I've had them for years and years and years. Um, I just haven't bought any new straight leg jeans recently. Um, and the linen trousers. 
Um, I liked, but they were too big or too long for sure. I would have to get them hemmed unless I wanted to wear nothing but heels with those. And I wouldn't want to just wear heels with those. So those will probably go back. So all in all, I'm really happy with this um, trunk, so to say box, whatever. I'm really happy with it. I think I got some really good pieces um, that I will keep. Um, I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to keep yet or not. You guys leave me comments and tell me what you think I should keep. And, um, yeah, I have five days. I'm going to be going out of town Monday, so this will have to go back Monday, but I'm going to get this video up today so you guys can leave comments and let me know. And, um, yeah, I'm not sure if, I want. I know Trunk Club has a referral code. Um, so I will put my referral link down below if you want to try Trunk Club out. Um, definitely do that. I don't know what the referral program is. This is all new to me. Um, but I know I use my sister-in-law's referral code and I think you get like a little bit of credit if somebody uses your referral code. I'm not really sure, but anyway. Um, so I'll put that down below and yeah, that is it for me today, guys. Two videos, a lot of trying on and it's really hot. So I'm going to go grab myself some water and cool off and post these videos. So I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.